Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight. Tonight I'm going to show you some fun things you can do with the Whisker menu and also with, also involving some XFCE launcher icon items. So let's take a look at the Whisker <coughs> menu. It's your standard Whisker menu available in MX14. And everybody knows it's great for searching. You can search for your favorite apps and, and run them with just a couple of keystrokes. Uh, for instance, if I want to run HTOP well, there we go. It comes right up. Okay. Well, my, I like to use Awesome Mixer for things. Run Awesome Mixer. Nothing happens. That's because Awesome Mixer is a terminal application. And while you can run anything with a desktop, with a dot .desktop file from, from the Whisker menu, once you start to do things that don't have a, a desktop, dot .desktop file defined, Think terminal apps like also mixer for instance then uh, it has a problem launching those items but there's a neat workaround so you fire up your whisker menu and you put a bang you put a a exclamation point and all of a sudden the action becomes run in terminal also mixer and looky there it opens up in the standard whatever the default terminal is in, in this case XF CE4 terminal uh, so fine, yay! We we uh, that that is a neat item. There it turns out there are a few such uh, interesting items like that. If you t let's say you want to go directly to a website, well, going to Google.com doesn't work real well. But if we go back and say HTTP, look there, open a URI, Google.com, and my web browser of choice this time, Iceweasel, should open up with Google.com. There you go. Okay, is it the easiest way to fire open a web browser? Eh, maybe not. You gotta do the HTTP thing uh, so that it knows what to look for. But let me show you where you can define these actions for yourself. Just right click on your whisker item, whisker menu, menu icon, and go over to search actions. And here you can actually, here's the ones that are already set up, and you can actually define new ones as well in this same area. So if you get a wild hair, you wanna try setting up, you know, google.com, you know, searching google.com from there, I'm sure there's a way to do it. Um, I personally don't know what that is, but there is a way. Um, let's take a look at uh, this item here for Wikipedia. Um, we're going to fire up, we're going to say it's a pound, or not a pound, but a bang W, an exclamation point W, and I'm going to search for crackers. You see that it changed to searching for Wikipedia for crackers. It fires open Wikipedia and here's cracker giving us the definition as a type of biscuit usually salty or savory. Particularly good in soup. Okay, so that is a couple of neat things. Uh, running terminal is probably my favorite. Opening URL, okay sometimes. Uh, you actually can do a little thing trick with man pages if, if, if you're into it. Uh, that is a, whoops, that is a pound and then some app. Uh, in this case I'm going to say apt uh, get. And it should give me the man page for apt get. So that's pretty handy if you're thinking about a command or an app and you know there's a man page for it. That is actually really cool because you don't have to go through the terminal thing altogether. I mean at first. Okay so that's pretty cool. So that's that's that is the, def the search actions available besides just searching your regular menu. Uh, little known, LCP will talk about that very much, but I I really like the run command and terminal option. It's pretty handy. Now, if we come down to uh, on my on my particular whisker menu, you will see that I actually have an other category, and in my other category, which is simply where things go that don't have a, any other category, I have a Facebook icon. There's no Facebook app. It's just going to launch my web browser to my Facebook page. Now it's really handy having this in the Whisker menu because now I can add to my favorites and now it's right there on my favorites thing and I can drag it around. It's just like a normal thing. So how'd I get it in there? Well I guess you could use a menu editor if you really wanted to. I didn't want to. Um, I found a neat trick. So XFCE, if you say, if you do a right click on the desktop, lets you create various sorts of launchers. Now a, a launcher is is nominally for launching apps 
So you would need to specify, you know, give it a name, like some sort of comment, specify what command to run, what working directory, an icon, a start and terminal, all that stuff. Okay, that's great. If you want to launch an app with custom features, uh, that's pretty good. But let's say you don't want to launch an app. Let's say you want to do something simple like a website, like say, for instance, Facebook or Netflix, which is what I'm going to show you. Uh, it doesn't matter. We can cancel. They actually have another kind. They have another kind of launcher called a URL link. And this is incredibly simple. You just create the file. I'm going to call it Netflix and say Netflix videos. That'll show up in the whisker menu. The comment will. I should probably point out that even though I'm going to use Netflix.com as an example for this launcher, um, Netflix.com will not work by def in the default setup of Netflix. If you and uh, of MX, if you if you uh, just want Netflix, just go to the package man installer, MX package installer, and install Netflix desktop. That's the way that officially works on the current edition of MX. And you click create. It's going to show up on the desktop. Okay, it's on the desktop. It is not in the in the whisker menu though, correct? Well, even if I spell it right, it's not in the whisker menu. Okay. Could I use the whisker menu's uh, HTTP thing to launch Netflix? Sure. But who wants to type HTTP every time you want to do anything? Um, what we need to do to get it to show up is we want to drag that icon into a special folder in our home folder. You can't see it by default. It's hidden. So we're going to show show hidden folders. We're going to go down to dot .local share applications. You can see my Facebook's already in there. And we're going to drag the Netflix icon right in in there. I'm going to delete the one on the desktop just so you can see that there's no uh, trickery going on here. Delete. There we go. And then we're going to launch Netflix now from the whisker menu. And there we go. Uh, so it launched right from the whisker menu. Now, when it's here, it's going to be in other. Well, I have my other links. Well, what if you don't want it there? Uh, what if you want it in internet? Well, that's fair enough. So what you want to do? These these little launchers, as you can see when I drag it in, turn out just to be .dot desktop files. That's all they are. And what's a .dot desktop file? A special kind of launcher file. It's a text file. We can edit it with LeafPad. Open it right up. And what we want to add at the bottom is a categories equals network. Now it's network not internet even though that's what it says on the whisker menu. Trust me it's network. Save the file and I believe it's relatively instant. Go down to internet and there is Netflix ready to go. So there is a super fast way and doing this in your home folder uh, makes it nice because it won't show up on, if you have other users on the computer your links are your your custom links are that way. Oh look, I'm gonna put Netflix right to the top. So that is a super fast way of customizing some some cool links onto your whisker menu that um, aren't obvious how to do them. For tips, tricks, how to's, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forms.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.